So peoples, here's part one of my, uh, I guess I call it a rebuild. HPI WR8 Ken Block Edition. Y'all did the pro line. Big boy shocks already. Mama Monster 2 being installed in here. There it is sitting right there in the corner. That's where the original ESC sat inside his little tray. Mama Monster is too big to fit inside the tray, so it'll be trayless. But it sits real nice and snug in this little corner right there. I'm going to double face tape it down. Clean the metal real good, some alcohol. Double face tape it. It sits in there nicely. Doesn't lean over the sides. It's real close to the edge, but it doesn't lean over the edge. I'm going to double face tape the on off switch right there, like so. That way, no debris will hit it. It'll be protected by the bottom of the car. So it's nice and it's nice and flush in there, so it's a good, real good fit. Had to rewire, well, I had to reroute, reroute the uh, wires. Originally, the wires come up under the drive shaft into the tray, into the uh, receiver box. I had to put a hole inside the receiver box, real tight hole. I put the wires. It's like a little tire here, like a bread tie. That's on there. It's a real small hole already inside the frame. So I didn't make the hole, it's already there. So I utilize it. Put the little tie on there. Keep it in place. It won't hit the drive shaft. Drive shaft is clear. Looks low, but it's clear. These wires are real thick. They're not budging. So it's not gonna rub on that. You see the antenna. I also took that over there as well. Antenna wire. The original outlet was behind this monster of a motor. It's a nice snug fit. I'm cool with that. I don't know if it get well, trial and error. I'll see if it get hot or not. If it doesn't get hot, I'm leaving it like that. If it gets hot, I'll probably put a little sheet of aluminum in there. Just to keep it from burning down the SC tray, the uh, receiver box. Just say, this monster of a motor right here. It's going to be pretty snug, but it fits in there nicely. Now I see why HPI didn't include this size motor inside these vehicles here's the original motor pretty much sat in it like that well that's inside here it sat inside like that with all that space see, see, the, see the hell of a difference in the size of these motors now, as anything, you know, I forgot what it's called. When something bad is going to go bad, it will go bad. Or anything possible that can go bad, will go bad. They strip. Both of these stripped on me. Actually, the um, pinion actually got stuck on there too. It stripped. I had to drill it out. I'm not going to use this motor anymore or the pinion. Well, I can buy another pinion if I decide to use it later. But I had to drill it out. The set screw out to get the pinion off. Now, these two damn things stripped on me. I don't know from the heat or whatever, but they strip, so they're stuck in there. So I jumped online and ordered new motor mount. So hopefully that'll come sometime next week. Right now, my build is on hold until I get that motor mount in. I could drill them out. Now, let me go to the hardware store and see what I can find there. But I already ordered the motor mount. Well, uh one by Entergy, so I'll wait till that comes, see what happens. Anyway, this monster's gonna sit in here nice and flush. This is the 25. This is the 25 pinion here. I gotta see if the mount will allow me to use it with this spur. So I also have a smaller spur coming. Hopefully Monday, Tuesday, I'll have that. That way I can use this pinion 25. I think I'm this is a 46 older to 42. So it'll give me more space and high, you know, a little bit higher speed. I said rerun the rerun the wires. Original wires 
came out the receiver box right there up top oh you see that this box is held down with three screws well it was one on either side and one in the front I had to drum with that flush to fit the uh, the monster right there now this little I guess this makes it waterproof or water tight it's like a little rubbery I'm leaving that there to help hold a motor in place. Actually, if it gets hot, I'll deal with it then. But right now, it keeps the motor nice and snug. Plus, with the motor mount, once I finish that. So, that's part one of my upgrades. Making this a beast. You know, I already had the servo. High tech. I waterproofed it. Why? I don't know. I'm not going to put this in any water. But I waterproofed it. I got some more aluminum parts coming. I got another body coming. I'm just gonna do a straight black body just for my speed runs. I'm gonna use some other tires. You might have seen some tires I had on my bullet, but I never actually used them. And actually, they fit on here. They're like double the width of that. They're, they're, it's, I ain't gonna show you right now, but this is gonna look sick once I'm done with the new body, the speed run, and those wheels on there. Anyway, that's part one. Later.